Since 2022, we, a group of civil society organisations, have followed with interest the European Union's first ever youth action plan for EU external action. Think of it as the EU's playbook for boosting youth voices and action across the globe, addressing some of the big challenges affecting young people. It rests on three pillars. Engage, empower, connect. The first pillar, engage, means that the EU should focus on enabling young people to engage with decision makers, especially when it comes to issues that affect them. In the second pillar, empower, the EU commits to making youth empowerment activities inclusive. We believe equal opportunities, access to health services and quality education, including comprehensive sexuality education, are essential. Finally, the third pillar is connect. We think the EU should promote exchanges and connections between young people from different backgrounds and from all over the world. Now, how can the EU achieve this? Strong political will and support are needed to make these ambitions a reality. To fully implement the YAP, the EU needs to allocate adequate financial resources. This includes supporting youth-led and youth-focused organisations based on their needs. Concrete support structures for young people's civic engagement are key to creating a safe and encouraging environment for young activists. To meaningfully involve youth, setting up youth advisory boards and building capacities for children and youth rights within EU delegations is crucial. We cannot afford to lose momentum. Youth empowerment and participation must remain a top priority for EU leaders after the European elections in 2024. The EU must lead the change and act as a global champion for youth. As a group of organisations promoting child and youth rights, we will continue to work with the EU to make the YAP a success. Find out more in this publication.